Adoro Clean Technologies just uh, concluded its full first full week of trading on the NASDAQ after IPO um, the week before. And it has been nothing short of remarkable with regard to the progress and the reception uh, on the major market. And uh, uh, for share owners that are are up this 35% this week, I really want to put into context what this investment means for current investors. In this video, I'm going to jump into a very important press release uh, that was released on the 12th of November. Very important. Links will be provided as usual but to understand that Aduro is alone in this arena with complex polymers and from the multi initiatives, multiple verticals that Aduro sports in their technologies, of course, plastic being the major focus right now, this has kind of morphed into a, a sub market that I think is being um, really underscored in the market and, and underappreciated as to the opportunity that a Duro uh, sports here. And this isn't just a pie in the sky idea, guys. Uh, up until this week, the multi-billion dollar player in GF uh, Industrial Solutions had been unnamed. Now we know um, the company. Now we know the addressable market that a Duro could really leverage uh, in way of a uh, first mover advantage in the complex polymer space, having provided uh, a, a significant level of validation for GF solutions when they were initially accepted into their customer engagement program all the way back to March. So very important for you guys to understand the timeline and evolution in uh, going into what was just released on the release uh, recent press release this week. Read over the press releases, glean for yourself what it could potentially mean for Aduro. Um, understand more importantly what it could mean for the future and finding a niche in this complex polymer market in helping these uh, customers uh, where they were previously uh, unhelpable. There was no technology and still does not an exist in a technology that can actually deal with these uh, complex plastics that go into many of our common commercial grade uh, products that GF Solutions and many others sport here. So the ability to define this market and track this progress closely in their uh, MOU that was just signed with GF Solutions is going to be important in understanding and really starting to define the overall opportunity that Aduro may have uh, in this blue ocean that has been previously untapped uh, until now. Guys, all disclosures are provided in the description below. Uh, I am a share owner in Aduro Clean Technologies. Um, I provide this information as a, uh, a forwarding of information on behalf of Aduro Clean Technologies, and I am compensated for my efforts. Those full disclaimers uh, for your uh, review are provided in the disclaimer. And with that, guys, let's hop in and see what the press release has to offer in understanding the Aduro Clean Technologies opportunity. The press release, Aduro Clean Technologies and GF Building Flow Solution Americas, sign an MOU to advance circular solutions for cross-link polyethylene waste. This press release uh, came through the wire November 12th of 2024, so just a couple of days ago. Uh, I cannot stress how important this is, and to properly read this press release, you'll need to use the links that are provided within this press release and go back to the original unnamed announcement uh, prior to GF being named as um, one of their many uh, multi-billion dollar companies that they are working with, but you also really need to read between the lines in understanding what GF solutions bring to the table. I'm going to provide a link for you guys to not only this press release, uh, as well as the press release from March uh, and the press release uh, from middle of this year. Uh, there were three released that are directly related to this uh, MOU being signed with GF Building Solutions. And I just want to give you my comments 
uh, and my reaction to this. Guys, I believe that this is um, a, a, a large contributor to what is going to be a series of large contributions to this very, very complex puzzle that Clean Technologies is trying to put together at present. Um, they have brought people in successfully through their customer engagement program, um, this being more of uh, an opportunity to highlight a company that has been in the program for a few months now and is taking uh, a stride toward uh, that inevitable um, agreement that we all are looking for with these companies in way of commercialization. I will stress that we are not there yet. Uh, I will also stress that I believe that uh, time is going to be the necessary ingredient here uh, in understanding that, yes, these press releases uh, should be well received uh, in the grander marketplace and uh, have a positive impact on the underlying stock. But there is an even more important uh, undercurrent of information that can be gleaned from these progress reports uh, of, of advancing their technology with uh, individual multi-billion dollar players such as uh, GF Building Flow Solutions. So I will provide this link to you guys. It is my job to highlight uh, when and where this information comes through in a timely manner. We're a couple of days removed from this. Uh, I'm not going to read the press release for you. It is incumbent upon you to do your own uh, due diligence and understand and and come to your own evaluation as to what this could potentially mean for Aduro. With that said, I am going to provide you uh, some of my reaction is in, in what I think this sets the stage for for Aduro Clean Technologies. If you remember or reference the uh, link in March, they introduced the uh, complex polymers that are uh, close to impossible. To recycle, it seems as if to me, Aduro has taken a major step in advancing their collaboration or MOU in this case. I want to be fair, but GF loved what they saw on the onset and now here are increasing their uh, relationship or strengthening their relationship through the MOU with Aduro. Uh, based on the results that were rendered. Now, GF in the original March press release provided uh, some of the feedstock from their facility directly, and I believe that is some of the waste product that is generated uh, from their production of the um, the Upanor branded products that uh, GF uh, sports and sells globally. Furthermore, I want to stress that it discusses in all three press releases the uh, use case for this hard-to-recycle plastic, uh, close to impossible, and its use case in um, uh, big industry for its durability as well as its, um, its uh, longevity in its use case. But... On the flip side, creating an environmental nightmare uh, that it is uh, close to impossible with existing technology to recycle the waste that's generated from uh, creating this product until now. So this is a step with uh, AduroClean Technologies and GF to further uh, their understanding and marks an Im important step toward a potential commercial deal with this company um, and an established uh, deal on a commercial uh, stage with a multi-billion dollar player. So I do not want to underscore the importance of this announcement. I took it as a progress support in the correct direction and a big one at that. Um, we will await further uh, updates as this relationship uh, proves itself out and we have the ability to exercise upon the MOU with GF Building and, and, and see what is rendered in way of a potential commercial deal. Now remember guys, we'll finish 2024 with the plans for the next generation process 
and a promise to understand a little bit more in way of an actual next generation process sometime as early as 2025. I am not crossing my fingers, but that is the latest that we have uh, with regard to uh, giving us an idea of what a, a next generation continuous flow uh, for tons per day will look like in 2025. This just uh, augments that initiative from Aduro uh, by, by putting these customers that were initially introduced to the technology through the customer engagement program uh, on the, the uh, path toward commercialization. And that's how I think would-be share owners in the company as well as existing share owners in the company need to interpret this information going forward. But again, I will provide the links to this exciting press release uh, just released this week from Maduro Clean Technologies uh, in the description. And you'll want to kick over, you'll want to read this for yourself at your leisure and understand the potential impact of such a release uh, for Aduro now uh, and especially Aduro into the future. So we've completed the review of the uh, press release. I invite you to review those uh, press releases and related material to the press release. Uh, ask yourself what this could potentially mean for Aduro. Um, I, I, I've explained this to be a large contribution to a much grander problem that Aduro is tackling here and where it was not made possible to really leverage the opportunity of press releases like this and many others now is possible through its uplisting to the NASDAQ to get its full due attention. And I think in, in a holistic view, it cannot be underscored the level of impact that Aduro is looking to make. And now the excitement that it can actually be generated because Aduro can actually, you know, sport its opportunity on a major marketplace. And I, I think if nothing else, uh, six days of, of trading activity for Aduro, you, you know, may not give us a total picture. However, in the acute, it does give us a, a specific idea about the opportunity that exists now and more importantly into the future. Uh, for potential uh, investors in the company and existing uh, share owners in the company. If you enjoy updates like this, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments at the bottom of the video. And thank you so much for tuning in for this exciting opportunity on Aduro Clean Technologies and good luck in your investment future. <music>